guys, welcome back to the channel and this is another video on the Traxxas X-Max and we are going to be fitting the M2C extended hubs so if you like what I'm doing give us a thumbs up hit the notification bell leave a comment down below and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because it's free to do so so let's crack these open and take a look right so here we've got the full hub extension kit from M2C so it's the extended hub by 15mm for the X-Max and what this will do is give you a wider stance and ultimately better handling these here are the optional pieces that fit onto these so this is a hex adapter for 24mm nut and this gives you the ability to run different wheels and tyres, i.e. a one-fifth scale um, outcast 8S wheels and stuff like that. So once these are installed, these will just go straight onto there and you know you can run any kind of wheel you want. So, but with this, this kit here, you get a little block, which I'll show you, you can drill out um, your black hexes that are on there already, um, which enables you to use the pins locking system so you can do away with that silly little clip and then the derelin bit which sits behind um behind there i'll show you how it all works okay so let's crack these open we'll get them out and uh show you it going on the, on the car right so you'll have to excuse me if there is a bit of background noise i've got to get the heater on in this garage because i'm freezing so in this pack you get this derelin part you get your new hub you get your hex bit and then you get some tools and a drill bit and the idea is if you're going to use your original wheels or wheel sizes this is your like, template and what you do is you pop this in there and then you put drill through one side and then you turn it around and do the other side now I have already done this side so I'll show you how it goes and it is a nice snug fit make sure it's you're doing the opposite side put it on one side just hold it down and that is it there you go you've drilled your holes out little screwdriver just to pop this back out the other side again they kindly leave a couple of nice holes there for you to push it back out and there you go you've got a hole either side where you're then going to be able to put your stub pin so let's pop one of these off swing this down take the end off and get it assembled right so all I've done is take this top pin out here slid the drive shaft out and the stub axle and then what we're going to do is pop this pin through like so so this bit now effectively becomes redundant then we pick up our new one this wants to go straight in Pop the pin back through. And that is it, it's ready to rock and roll. So let's slide this drive shaft back in. Swing the hub up. It's a little bit longer now. that up there slide this pin through let's get all situated make sure our bearings are in get the derrill in part slide that over and then get your new fresh drilled out hex and pull out one of your pins so 
Feel like that. It is quite tight, which is good. I'm just going to give that a little tap in there. There we go. Nice snug fit. And now it's ready to take a wheel. I'm going to pop one of these in. See if this is a. F yeah, so this is a three mil. We'll give that a little dob of. We'll give us a little dob of um, thread lock. Slide that in there. And that is the hub extension. So this is by 15 mil each side. So giving it 30 mil all the way round. Right, so basically the front is pretty much the same. Apart from you take your two pins off the top here, screws out the bottom, undo your steering link, move your hub to one side, and it, it will expose this. So it's a little bit tight to be able to get the shaft out because I've got the uh, retainers in there. Or the rings around the, uh, the cup, should I say. So I'll leave it on, I'll pop that out, and then we'll pick up our new one. So I'll pop that in there. This pin. There we go. Slide that pin through there. And that is in. What we've got to do now is just reassemble it. Put our steering hub on there. and then put all our screws back in again. Then we will need to drill this one out. So we'll pop that in there, and then we can drill that one out, and then we'll be able to pop it on. So I'm gonna do that off camera, and I'll get it all situated, and I'll bring you back in. Right, so there we go, guys. That's the hub extender on there. And imagine this is back there. Look at that. So it gives you a nice, 15mm either side, 30mm width overall, and uh, some awesome, some awesome wheel nuts there as well. As always with M2C, everything's perfect on there, it goes on nice, fits nice, it's really nice to work with. Right, I'm going to spin the truck round, I'm going to do the other two sides off camera, and I'll bring you back to show you what it looks like. Right, so there you go guys, nice easy install, all of them done all the way around now, you can see how much more it gives it, so I can't wait to get this out and give it a try, and if you are looking to do the same sort of thing, this is, uh, this is the kit that you're after, and if you do want to go for having different size wheels, this is the other part, and this is on M2C's website. Um, I don't believe you can get them in the UK yet. You have to order it from America. Um, so I'm gonna throw the wheels on there. Uh, I might give this a side-by-side -side comparison to my boys one, which is on standard, and we'll see how much wider it looks. Right, so I'm loving the look of that. It just it just about still fits on my bench. Um, it does give it a nice wider stance. And I'll put it on the floor and check it against my boys one. I have a couple of people say to me, am I gonna go and get the the uh, Traxxas Y-Max kit. Um, my, as much as I like the idea of it, this is my view. I mean, I've got, I've got Traxxas arms, I've got spare arms, um, I've got several, and if I break one, I, I could just replace it. If I go out and buy the Y-Max kit, it's gonna cost you a couple of hundred quid. You've got longer arms, longer axles, you're starting off from scratch again, which means you're going to buy need to buy replacements, um, and your replacements you've already got become redundant. Um, that's my only kind of gripe, and also I can't help but think when you've got longer arms like that, and there's there's more plastic, there's more flex there, there's more potential to break them. 
I mean, Traxxas arms are generally pretty good. Um, that's just how I feel about it, and I was waiting for the M2C ones to be tried and tested and come out, um, because I think I prefer having the axle sat out a little bit for, for, further with the stub axles, as opposed to changing all the arms and everything, and then not having any spares in case I break one. Um, at a later date, I might well get a, when it comes out in the UK, get a wide max kit to put on here with the wide, wider M2C axles, which I think will make it stupidly wide, which will be awesome. Um, but again, it's something I might do, and if people do kind of request it, and uh, I can kind of hit that thousand subscriber mark as soon as possible, then um, maybe that's, that's something I'll look at doing and, and get it done. But let's chuck this on the floor, let's have a look comparison to the other X-Max. All right, so there you can see, one on the left is standard, and the one on the right has now got the, the M2C hub extenders. So you can see how much further it sits out, which uh, absolutely loving it. So I think that's gonna be, oh, it could be well be a good game changer when it comes to kind of turning or having it across a field or doing a bit of racing. Uh, plus I've done the uh, the M2C shock pistons on this one as well. So um, we're currently testing that out at the moment as well. But it's gonna be interesting to see how it performs now, how much more stable it is. And also I could try a lot of other tires on there. Right, so for now, that's going to be it for this one. Um, I want to get out and test it, but at the moment in the UK, we've got Storm Eunice, um, which has been causing havoc. And then we've just had loads and loads of rain, and it's just absolutely terrible out there at the moment. So there's been a lot of shop stuff lately, so I'm sorry about that. But there will be more stuff coming, getting out, bashing, uh, just waiting for the, that weather to change a little bit, and I can go out and test this. Um, got a few other things I want to test as well. Um, so, yeah, as always, like I said before, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.